Would it kill it out? Uh, yes, well, it would correspond to an earthen fort, but there wasn't enough depth of earth there, and um, they piled the stones up instead. Yeah, and there's the road now, uh, running through down to Banner of Town Land. Yeah. And there's part of Cork Bend Lake. And here's part of Banner Lake down here, in four farms in Northern of the boundary. And there's the site of the stone castle. Well, it wouldn't really be, a tr it would be a stone fort, I suppose. Stone fort, yeah, yeah stone fort it is, yeah. rather than stone castle. Yeah. Sites of houses there, sites of the fair green, the grand fair green, up at the southern end of the province, at the ah, town right. Yes. Yeah. And very thickly populated, I understand, too, until well, the... Well, there's a village of castles, yes. Yeah. The moor down there, all right. Castle. It is in the old parish of Kilcommon. According to the O'Donovan's notes, a vision that the age, it was named after a stone fort, Castle. Situated up there somewhere. In 1838 it contained 312 and a half acres. In this were 12 acres of water, uh, 50 acres of uncultivated land. It was the property of Mr. Richard Irwin of Dublin. His agent was George Irwin, Green on Baronet. It was held by 53 tenants. They paid 26 shillings per acre in rent. Barley, oats, flax and potatoes were the crops. The tenants were all Catholics. In 1856, according to the Griffith valuations, the immediate lesser was Mrs. Erwine. The occupiers were Peter Connor, John Connor, Patrick Farrell, Martin Ruddy. He had a head's house, Thomas Farrell also in a head's house. Martin Ruddy and Thomas Farrell had four cottages rented here for £1.8 annually. Patrick Farrell, William Farrell, John Cunningham, Thomas Cunningham, Martin Farrell had two cottages rented at six shillings yearly. Peter Cunningham, James Cunningham and Mrs. Erwine. It was a townland of most Cunninghams, of mostly Cunninghams and Farrells. Part of Cash Loch, that would be down here. Six acres, three roads and 33 square patches were in this townland. The other half of it was in Banner. Corofin Lake, further back beyond that hill there, in this townland too. Uh, five acres, three roads and 33 square patches was in this townland. In 1641, this townland uh, was called Cashel Coghill and was in with Castle Gehi, which is now Castle McGee. The proprietors' names were Thomas Burke, Ulick Burke, Walter Burke, and McDaniel, who was down in the book of uh, survey and distribution as an Irish papist. It was disposed to Sir Arthur Gower. That big drain, maybe. Yeah. Well, there was a well in that and didn't help me. But they always refer to it as a sluice. There was a well down there now. Uh, it's closed in now. Oh, you see uh, the dog running down there now. Ah, uh, yes. Mm. But further down would be the mill belonging to Ryan Gallagher, so it would be maybe connected to water, I don't know. Maybe quite, yes, quite possibly, there. yeah. This is the site of the stone fort here outside, what he can itself. Yeah. On the stone fort here, is it? It is, the stone fort here. Is that what you heard the old people call it? That's what the old people call this yeah. place, all around. Yeah. Will he kill his land, wasn't it? Uh, it is. Yeah. It is. Uh, originally it was Albert Cunningham's. Was it? Uh, yeah. And his father before him was Johnny Cunningham's. Yeah. So it's the site of the stone fort that would have given uh, this townland its name, Castle. It is, it is. Yeah. It is, yeah. that is correct. You haven't heard your father talking about I it? I did, I did. Yeah. There doesn't seem to be much stones here today now. No, no, there's no stones. Maybe they're covered with greenery up there where the cows are, are uh, they? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Well, is there a tunnel up here in this fort? There is. The tunnel is up here. Um, on the other side? On the other side of the um, fort. Right, we'll see you. This has been filled up, Martin, hasn't it? It is, yeah. This has been filled up. Um, about 10 foot, I'd say, of uh, fill in here. Yeah. 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 Cast the stones and everything? Uh, everything. Were they there before you tried getting into it? Uh, it was about seven feet deep when we tried to get into it first. Yeah. We did hook out a lot of them stones, but 
they were put back in again. Yeah. You didn't get through? No, we didn't get through. Did you ever hear anybody saying that they got through uh, here? My father was in it. Was he? He was, yeah. Did he say he went down far in it now? Uh, he did. He said there's three or four rooms under it. Underneath? Yep. You didn't get the direction from? No. No. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll fill it up again in case cattle will be going into yeah, the hotel. Right. Yeah, right. Banahar Lake was down there. Yes, that is correct. It's not a lake anymore, is it? Uh, no, it's not. It's drained now. Yeah. You remember one time there you wouldn't walk on it? Uh, no, no. That place was called Gobanoran. Gobanoran? Yes. So, Gobanoran. Is that, was there any different name on this lake out here? Uh, no. It was it was known as Castle Lake. Uh, supposed to be according to the old people from our house. From this fence here until the land at Banahar Road. Oh yeah. That but, was supposed to be Castle Law. All part of it. All part of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here's the site of the storm force behind them behind them castle. And in front of this here there was a lot of old houses here, wasn't there? That is correct. You heard there was a village here? There was. You didn't hear anybody talking about them, like the kind of houses that was in the door, who was living in the door? Uh, no, not really. Yeah. Uh, they were all attached, supposed to be attached houses. Um, yeah. A room and a kitchen. Yeah. And there was 40 in it at uh, one stage. In the whole town land? In the whole town land of Cashel Village. Yeah. That was done with the Yeah. Yeah. No name on this particular village here, no? Uh, no. No. In the background here is a small mound or a, a lithium, is that what you it call is, it? That is what we call it. Yeah. There was unbaptized children buried here uh, some hundred years ago. To be later than that, would it? Uh, well... Maybe 50, 60 years ago? Probably. Yeah. And the other one there was above. Oh, there's another one as well. There's another one. We have oh, another yeah. one to see, yes. Is there any particular name on this one? No. There isn't a name for it. No. Must be seven children buried in this one here. Yeah, this is across from Willie Kelly's stone fort, isn't yes, it? Willie Kelly, originally yeah. John Cunningham and Edward Cunningham. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this is over here. Yeah. There's another list scene in front here. It is, yeah, it is. No name on this one? No, no name. Yeah. Is it near the road here? Must be. It is. It's about a quarter of a mile from the road. That must be near than that the road, is it? Oh, yes. oh yeah, oh, it is. The yeah. road is just above that old that house. That is correct, that is correct. Yeah. So there was people buried here not that long ago, was there? Uh, there was, it was 50 years. 50 years ago? Yep. Yeah. When they weren't allowed in the churches? Correct. Whose land is this now? This is Patrick Clark's land now at the moment. Oh, yeah. Originally Cunningham yeah. and Malloy's. Uh, oh, there are stones in off the land. Yeah. No one's touching on any stones here? No. Kin, is it? It is, it is. It is. Another look at the same machine. Yeah. And that there is the site of the infant's burial. And down here is another burial, I think. Would you think so, Kenneth? Uh, I would have been. Well, it's a straight line of stones anyway. Uh, That's uh, the uh, there, isn't it? Yeah. And the local people wouldn't touch them. Mm, Never yeah. have touched them. Yeah, well, you said that there's a tradition of a burial anyway. Of burials, here, yeah. yeah. And that looks like a straight, two straight lines of stones now. Yeah. They, mm. they didn't fall there naturally anyway. Oh, they're up here is the site of killing, really killing nation. This is a well here. This is a well here. Called? Tabor Shalongawa. Yeah. He was an old man, I suppose, a head here years ago. He was, he was. He had a great head of goats here and so on. Yeah, and they, I suppose they used to drink here at this well. Yes, that is correct. And he'd use the two, I suppose. He did, yes. Tabor Shalongawa. Tabor Shalongawa. Yes. John of the goats. John of the goats. Uh, John of the head of goats. Yes, that is correct. Whose uh, land is this here? This is Michael Farrell. Oh, yeah. He lives somewhere down there. He lives down here in this house uh, down here. Yeah. And that's the boundary wall there, I think, between that and Cat and Gee, It isn't? is. Yeah. Yeah. So it has been done up since John Gower's time, hasn't it? It has. Yeah. Uh, 
he, his uncle, Sean O'Rotty, was the landlord. Was he? He was. For this area. At one time or another? Uh, it's about a uh, hundred years ago. Yeah. Yeah. He was the landlord. He wouldn't have come from Ruddy's town over there. He though. did. That is correct. Yeah. He was one of the Ruddy's. That's over there near the steel on boundary. That is correct. Yes. Ah. Lake out here, Martin, is called Billings Lake, isn't that it? That is correct. Who was that? He was Billings Tilly. Yeah. Wasn't he a doctor or a seventh? He was. He was a seventh son. He used to make chairs. Yeah. You don't, you didn't hear of any people who were cured by him now, well? Eh, uh, no, I didn't. No, you don't know what he had the cure for? Uh, he had the cure for ringworm. Yeah. Uh, Cordons are a visor, Anthony, or stand out He had, he had, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ringworm was his main one, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this lake here is named after him? It is. Never goes dry? Never goes dry. Yeah. Which door's behind you there, I think, is the foundation of his house, isn't it? It is, that is correct. So that's in another townland, isn't it? It is. This, mm, yeah, this wall here is a boundary. It is a boundary between yeah. Cashel and Cashel yeah. and Steelon. Yeah. Has there any people belonged to him left now? Uh, no. No, he just no. stayed out? Just stayed out. Was he a head? Uh, he was supposed to be a head on the stone. Yeah, for the Irwins or Irwines or... Uh, so you don't know? That I wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's remembered anyway today, a doctor and a man that cured a lot of people, I suppose, of diseases. That is right. Yeah. This moor around here, you say, was a commonage, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Uh, all the people that had land down in Steelong, was it? Yes, that is correct. They had to pay rates or something on a piece of this up here, or the only... They it? had. Yeah. So this mountain area here? This mountain area here now belongs to Michael Farley. Yeah. They took it eventually, they I got around to it. So you say there's a gate up here that had to be... Uh... There is. There's a gate up here at Eamon Maiden's house, <coughs> and that is water and rights for all the people that own the land on our land. All right. Giving them a right of way down into this lake here. This lake here. What's it called? The moor, is it? Do they call it the moor? This oh. land here. No, the Ruwans. The Ruwans, correct. The Ruwans. Cash the Ruwans. <laughs> red, huh? Yes. <laughs> Any red rock or sandstone around them here? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. And there's another lake beyond this, they call it, uh, what is it, uh, Corrafind Lake, isn't it? Corrafind. It's not a deep lake. No, it's not. No, you haven't crossed it on foot, Yes, you? that's correct. But there's a, a spring somewhere in the middle, you were saying. There, there is. Isn't? There's a spring in the middle. And it's deep in it. It is. Yeah. Is it soft and boggy out there? It so is. It's about five or six feet in the center. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah. Never do. Yeah. Take away some of it. Believe in Killian's Lake. Now, this is another village in Cashel where there are no people at all now. The roadway in, which no longer used. Yeah. 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 That's Cashel Village, isn't it? That is correct. Not a house standing in it now? No. The last man to leave here, I think, was Langan, wasn't James it? James Langan. James Langan. He's dead now, isn't he? No. Is he not? Still alive. The wife is dead. Ah, she yeah. died about a month ago. Yeah. What's behind you here? This is me Hall of Olix. Yeah. Uh, his son was shot in Cratwell and Galway at the time of the land leave. Yeah. And there's a headstone to his memory there's down... There's a headstone to his memory erected by the R RIC. Well, is it the R.I.C.? It is. It is. Yeah, in the uh, Rafan Graveyard. Rafan Graveyard. Yeah, it has the Celtic design. We came across that. Yeah, that's correct. And they took his body back here, didn't they? It is, from Cartwell in Galway. Yeah. Killed in action. That's right. Yeah. And the fierce crowd of police here, I believe, the day that... There was a hundred police here in Cashel Village that day. Yeah, R.I.C. In man. uniform, all R.I.C. Yeah. yeah. So he came from this village? It is. Yeah. Not in use anymore. No. Cunningham's down this here. One, uh, Newcombe. 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 Yeah. And this is the old village here on the way out. That is right. And Goldrick's up there. Goldrick's up there. And Michael Cunningham on the right. Yeah.
he would land here, isn't it? And you have heard this is a burial ground of some type or another. I've heard this is supposed to be the oldest pagan graveyard in Ireland. Yeah. Why well, it belong to the Celtic or the Druids or whatever? Yeah, it probably was. Yeah, the earliest burial ground. Probably. No, that could be the way in now, into the yes, chamber. I believe the way it's in here. Yeah, yeah. Then here would be the collapsed chamber, the I suppose. The collapsed chamber. Yeah. Yeah. There would be a roof on this at one time and they would come yes. in here. Yes, that be it today. Yeah. Bronze Age or whatever. Yeah, that is. That a part of a door that has collapsed. It is. And some more of it here, I suppose, that has collapsed too. The ashes and bones, I suppose, that would be buried in place here. Yes, I believe it is. Yeah. Yeah. You never saw any doorway or anything. Stones left another like a lintel here at one any time. Well, no, that's the only stone there now that. Um, Looks like a lintel. Well, this is a burial here, isn't it? Yeah, it may have been a court, Karen, but the uh, evidence of the court, didn't, yeah. You can see the two see. compartments now, yeah. kind of back to back. Yeah. yeah. Stones could have been moved away, I suppose. Yeah. I'm standing now. The board of put up a monument here. Yeah. Now, they moved this monument away again about five years ago. Yeah. What reason? I don't know. Well, you saw some people years before that uh, examined these... Uh, yeah, Professor David Lader was here for a week. Yeah. And he had three men here. Yeah. And they scraped all these stones with wire brushes. Yeah. Now, they were supposed to have found some ohm writing on the stones. Although I never seen them, I checked them many times. Yeah. But they said they were on it. You don't know what stones they mentioned now, you don't? Uh, I don't. My father spoke to them a lot. Yeah. Uh, it was about uh, 1964. Yeah. They were here. Yeah. You see there's a photograph of Pat Bresson, who was uh, captain of the North Neo Flying Club. He was. The 19, 1916 to 1922. Yeah. He was more than in it now. He was a uh, captain, wasn't he? was he? a captain. Of what? The North Neo Brigade. Yeah. And uh, he had a uniform too, hadn't he? He had. Anything else he had? Um, he had a uniform, three rifles and three revolvers. Oh, yeah. Three or threes rifles. Three or threes. Yeah. Now, there is three of the rifles buried in that ditch separating <laughs> cash and cash <laughs> yeah. at the present moment. Yes, yes. <laughs> were built in the ditch, yeah, never right. to be seen again. All right. Uh, how about the small handgun? Uh, never, never seen uh, since. I've heard where they, they were. I've heard where they Yeah. They were around somewhere, aren't they? Yeah, we served them in kids, but... We'll never find them. No, I No. Don't. He was a captain, and didn't he organise a couple of expeditions or anything, did he? Well, I wouldn't know, to be very honest. Did you ever hear him talking about anything? Uh, not a lot. Yeah. Except uh, he went to uh, Finnard Camp. He spent a lot of time in Finnard Camp. I yeah. suppose that's... Yeah, this is the other side of the Rathmalai. And Arthur oh. Brockway. Yeah, well, Arthur Brockway, was it? Yes. I know where that is. Yes. I know where Finnard Camp is too. That's the way out to Barry Shannon. Yeah. Up that country. That's correct. Yeah, Arthur Brockway is way back uh, in Keener direction. It is. Oh, yeah, I've been there. Yes. Yeah. Um, how many men do you think he had under his command at one time? Uh, about 30. Yeah. All volunteers? All volunteers, and about 20 women. Oh, there was a uh, common man in it there too? There was. Well, I had them from around here, was uh, there? Yes. Uh, two, three of his sisters. Uh, Maud Munley. Marion Munley. Uh, Morden, I the Mordens in it from Portal. Correct. Yeah. Um, the Rogers, as I believe, was it? Oh, there would be, indeed, down there. Yeah. The Rogers. Uh, uh, there was some women from the side beyond who were at Black and Side. Yeah. I often, I wouldn't know who they'd be, but uh, yeah. there was a good lot of them in it. Yeah. McLaughlin's, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, any men in the brigade from around here when the volunteers? Uh, yes, Anthony Faddle. Yeah. Uh, Kathleen Munley. Uh, Curly, I think they should call him, wasn't it? Kathleen Munley. Michael Lynn, mm. now we just see he's still in a... Yeah. ...at Fawhill he was. Um, How many of the columns is the Fawhill, no? Uh, no, John Mayler, Fawhill. Yeah. yeah. Merton Killeen here below. Patsy Killeen. Thomas Newcomb. John Newcomb. 
Yeah. Uh, he wasn't at home that much. He was all the time on the road. He was all the time on the road. Yeah, tans after him and tans auxiliaries and auxiliaries. Yeah, he was arrested at one time up there where John Joe Clark's house is today, the new house, wasn't it? Yes, that is correct. Yeah. Would well, that be near the end of his time in the? That was court. the end of his time in the IRA. Yeah, the British had gone that time, hadn't they? They had, yes. Yeah. I think he was arrested by an uncle of mine, John Levin, wasn't he? Uh, yes, uh, I believe that is. Yeah, he was in the in the Free State Army at the time. Yes, I suppose that yeah. is correct. What happened to him after that then? Uh, he was. Uh, Nine months in Mount Joy. Yeah. That would be the uh, Republic of Ireland government. The Republic, that is correct. Yeah. And then they let him out, did they? They let him out, did they? Well, it was pretty safe in jail those days, wasn't it? It was, yes. Yeah. <laughs> did he uh, continue on after that, or did, when did he get out of them? You don't exactly know. Uh, I think he was finished then. When after he that, jail, after yeah. That. When our own government got into power, he, he yes. packed it up. He packed it up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He only died there a couple of years ago, wasn't he? He died last Christmas, 12 months. That would be 1983. 1983. What age was he at the time? 92 years. Yeah, a man that uh, had seen the hard times and the good times. And the good times. And survived the civil war. Yeah, he Yeah. He always lived here in Cashel, didn't he? He did. The site of his old house, I think, now isn't here anymore, is it? Uh, no. He knocked it down, did he? That's you? gone. Yeah. yeah. Logical story. Yeah, a cream coloured horse. Or uh, usually though it's a white horse. Uh, it's a bit fairy horse. And this fairy horse is supposed to appear once in a hundred years. Uh, and uh, then by the time it shows a worn to the thickness of a sixpence, um, it'll turn back into its natural form again. <coughs> now half the bog leaves of the country have one of these have, used to have one of these white horses. Yeah. So um, Maybe that's how it got his name. Well, um, Deneen has it down as a cream-coloured horse, or Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, as I say, usually the, the, the fable applies to a white horse. Yeah. But um, cream would be fairly yeah. near at all. But now, what I, my theory as to how this thing originated, <laughs> um, any lake that you have swans on, <coughs> when, the, when the swan starts off, um, at night especially, if you're listening, <coughs> you could swear it was a horse galloping. But when they take off flying off the lake, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. hitting the water. Um, yeah, and that might be how some of the fairy horses uh, came about too, because yeah. seeing a swan in a moonlight night or uh, in the twilight or in the dark, <coughs> it would look, look a bit like a white horse, uh, especially if you had it galloping. Yes, yes. The Oran, Governor Oran. Mm. Governor Oran. Yeah. No, that's a wild guess, but... Uh, yeah, mythology. Yeah, but a lot of those names uh, have strange origins anyway. Yeah, yeah. 